The plant hunters who traveled the world uh, around 1600, of course, got the biggest inspiration from South America. Because that was a new area, it had never been there, people had, never idea, had no idea what was possible. And they came with all kinds of fantastic products. And um, this one you must probably recognize, because it's uh, the tropiolum, uh, famous for its beautiful colored flowers with a very spicy taste. And this tropiolum we call it Zorigress. And it stands for a kind of victory, a kind of tribute you, 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 you collect from winning a war. Um, and Latin name is like that. The flavor is spicy. It's in, in the reddish flavor, with a little bit wasabi-like. It's, um, it's, it's a beautiful flavor. It's, it, it's, it can really uh, give an extra dimension to a salad or something. But also the, the way it's growing on this long stem, I think you can, you can play with the umbrella thing behind it. It's, it's different. So I mean, you put this in a dish, and I leave it up to you guys because we're just the growers. But if you can make a dish with, when you can show this umbrella thing, it would be nice. Zorycress is very strong, it's very hardy, uh, it can take some temperature, so you can play with it on, on more different ways. And uh, yeah, the flavor is, is, is intense. It's don't use too much because it's too spicy, people really get, wow, what happens. But it's not something you can just hide on a dish. This is, this is really a basic part of the dish. Good luck with uh, Zorycress. It will be available year-round and uh, very well storable.